Hey everybody and welcome to the bullshit party. And with the summer update coming closer, I need money. So in this one, I'm gonna be making as much money as possible, as quickly as possible. How? What? Why? We're gonna be making a lot of millions, so stay tuned. Oh, and for this particular video, I'm gonna be using my PlayStation character since all of my progress and vehicles you'll see in a bit are there. And our journey this time starts in the Windsor Drop. And the first thing we need to do is get to the office, or also known as get to the chopper, cause that's where most of my vehicles are located. Or at least the ones that I need for this video. It's so much fun to play the game without a minimap, I totally don't regret the decision of removing it. Okay, and we are almost here. And here we are guys, one second, let me get out of my Rolls Royce. So this is how we're gonna be making our money, we're gonna be selling all of these. And starting off with the Entity FX. And yes, that one's a podium vehicle, next up we have the Frontier, and that one I bought with my own money, what a great decision that was. The Neuro Custom, cause we're gonna be able to make money from it, cause it's a custom vehicle even though it's from the podium. And even though it pains me to do it, we're gonna be selling off my original Drift Yosemite cause I have a duplicate from the Lucky Wheel. And this Comet SR is also a duplicate, so we're gonna be selling this one. And finally, on this floor we have the Strider, which we are gonna be selling in a flash. I hope. And let's get to the second floor and see what we have there. Climbing up the stairs and going to the second floor. And the first vehicle we have here is the Slam Truck. Legitimately one of the stupidest vehicles in the entire game. Or at least from the last DLC. Next up we have the RSX. And this is the one that I bought. So we're gonna be able to make, I don't know, probably about 2 million from it. Next up we have the custom GTB and this is another one of them custom podium vehicles so we're gonna be able to sell it for some cash. Next up we have the Peyote custom, again a podium vehicle that I don't really care for. After that we have the ETR1, this is a duplicate that I have so I don't need it. And this is an interesting one, this is the Rapid GT Classic and it looks cool, I know guys, I feel you. And the thing is, I made a video about this, but uh, thanks to Elgato, the video never got uh, published. Because the, the footage was corrupted. So, thank you Elgato, you're awesome. Next up we have the Landstalker XL. One of the... Well, it's actually a... I don't know which is stupider, the, the Landstalker XL or the Slam Truck. I don't know which one I hate more. Probably the nah, it's probably the the slam truck though. By the way, if you wanna, if you're interested in seeing a review for any of those, I made a review for each of them except for the um, GT Classic. I I don't have a review for that because because uh, of Elgato. And with that short introduction of the vehicles, let's get into the first one, which is the Landstalker XL and get to Los Santos Customs and get to selling. Let's see how much money we're gonna be able to make from all of this. And uh, uh, again, it's gonna be an interesting, it's gonna be interesting just driving around without a minimap. That was, once again, such a great decision on my part. Was that a red light? No, it isn't. As I said before, I'm not gonna be going into detail about any of the vehicles because I've done a review on each of them except for the Rapid GT Classic or whatever. So in this video, the only thing we care about is making mucho dinero, also known as making money. L'argent, as the French call it, I think. Okay, the Landstalker XL can be sold for... 650,000. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, let's just call for another vehicle and uh, see how much money we can get for that. Let me just first call my mechanic. Okay, and next up we have the Strider. And the Strider, I'm not gonna be able to sell for much, I think. From what I remember, I either got it for free or as part of something. I don't really know. Or is a discounted vehicle? I don't know. There we have it, the stupid Strider. And in case you're wondering, I do have lots of more cars that I could sell on top of the ones that we're selling in this video. So let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see a video of me selling even more of my cars. Let's see how much we can sell the Strider for. Sell for... That's actually not bad, 320,000. I was thinking something in the neighborhood of 50,000. 
that's actually not bad at all. We're almost up to a million and we've only sold two vehicles. Next up we have the Comet SR and we need to wait 50 seconds. Great. That's just great. Just awesome. Okay, 25 more seconds. Come on, baby. 20 seconds. Yeah, this clearly is gonna take a while. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I thought this video through. And in case right now you're asking yourself, Bullsheep, why are you selling off your vehicles? It's because I want to have money for the new DLC that's coming up at some point this summer. And the best way to make money is to sell off your vehicles that you don't use anymore. If you're like me and you have a lot of them. No joke, at this point I probably have over 100 cars in the game. Most of them are from the lucky wheel. Haha, <laughs> did not expect that. I was expecting something in the neighborhood of 100,000. This is actually a nice surprise. And uh, let's wait uh, one more minute for the next vehicle. I stand corrected, 40 more seconds. And in case you think I sound weird in this one, it's because I'm actually doing the majority of the commentary live for a change. So also let me know in the comment section down below how you feel about it. Do you prefer it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's a garbage review for whatever reason? Let me know. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beep. I feel like I'm participating in a Royal Rumble match. And uh, for those of you who got that, yeah, yeah, I, I used to watch wrestling. What? It was cool back in the day. Okay, so apparently the vehicle got delivered to the next street over. Which is awesome. Dude, that is my car. Ah, uh, and here it is, one of my favorite cars in the game, and I'm legitimately sad that I'm giving this up. It's so much fun to drive, and let's face it, it looks absolutely awesome, especially with the rusted paint job thing I have going on. And it can do wheelies. This is just such an amazing vehicle. As I've said numerous times before, it's prob probably my number one favorite vehicle in the entire game, just for fun. It's just so cool. I mean, just look at it, listen to it, feel it. And uh, let's see how much money we can get for it. I'm gonna say about a million bucks. Yeah, 800,000. Okay, not bad. Not great, but not bad. And next up we have... The Timer. But after the timer is up, we're gonna be summoning the Neuro Custom. Neuro Custom? Ah, whatever. We're gonna be summoning the top car on the top left hand side of the screen. And the Neuro Custom, I'm probably gonna be able to sell for something like half a million. And um, the reason I'm selling this car is first for money and secondly because it's a custom vehicle. Which means that even though I got it from the Lucky Wheel, it still has some value. I believe the sell price of it was around 400,000 before the upgrades and the customization, so I'm assuming it's gonna be like 500,000 at this point. And, uh, no, it's actually 460,000. Great. Bye. Okay, so we are up about two and a half million. And, uh, next up we have the Frontier. After 50 seconds or so. The one cool thing I can say about the Frontier is that all of its lights are working. And that's just cool. And that's legitimately the only cool thing I can say about it. And the other thing I actually can say about it is that I don't know how much money I can expect from it. I'm gonna say uh, seven to eight hundred thousand, but let's see. Okay, and going down to the sell option. And uh, oh wow, it does have a lot of customization options, and that's really disappointing. For some reason, I was expecting more money. And next up, we have the Entity FX. And no, your eyes aren't deceiving you. If you remember, a couple of weeks back we had an event week that lasted for two weeks, so I was basically able to win two Entity FX's. So right now what we're gonna be doing is selling the original one, the one that I customized for the review video. All in all, I'm expecting about 100,000, I don't know what more to say about it. I'm gonna be keeping the other one, but I am gonna be selling this one, and yeah, as I said, about $100,000. So at this point we made about 3 million bucks. Not bad, not great, 
but uh, not bad and we still have a lot more vehicles left and let's see what's next uh, it's gonna be the Rapido GT Classico and uh, as I said a little bit ago well for you it was a little bit ago for me it was something like 25 minutes ago because all of the cooldown timers I had to wait for but I'm really disappointed that I don't have the video for the Rapid GT Classic it came out great but uh, thanks to Elgato the footage got corrupted. Thanks Elgato, you're awesome. And not at all worthless and completely useless. And I'm definitely not looking into other ways of replacing you. Definitely not at all. And here it is, the GT Classico. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is supposed to look like the Ford GT Fastback. The one from 1967, I believe. And uh, my oh my, what a gorgeous vehicle, and once again, I'm very bummed I don't have the video for it. Let's see now, 370,000. Well, yeah, this stinks. Bye, old friend. Hope to see you again someday. Next up, in half a minute, we're gonna have the ETR-1. And I can't for the life of me remember if this one's a podium vehicle or if it's something that I bought. But we are gonna be able to see that in 21 seconds, 19 seconds, 17 seconds, you get my point. And legitimately the only thing I remember about customizing and driving the ETR-1 is that it had awesome customization. And uh, once again guys, if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on any of these vehicles, I made a review for each of them, except for the GT Classico. Guess why? And now to see how much money we can sell it for. 1.3, not bad, not bad at all. So we're up almost 5 mil, not bad. And let's see what's the next vehicle we're gonna be selling. Next up we have the Peyote Custom, topless. And this is another one that was a Lucky Wheel podium vehicle, but just because it's custom, it had a higher sell price. I believe its sell price at the time of... Uh, when, when I got it, before upgrading it, was about 400,000. So I'm assuming with the upgrades and since it's a Benny's vehicle, I did put in a lot of customization options on it. I'm assuming we're gonna be able to get about 550 for it. But uh, we're gonna be able to find that out in about 15 seconds. And here it is, the Peyote Custom Topless. Like the one thing that bothers me about this car is that even though it's a convertible, it's it's not really a convertible. You can't put on the roof or retract it. Unless of course you're at Benny's, but who cares about that? Yeah, that's a disappointment. But it has hydraulics. See? Oh, and great, great. I busted the headlights, great. And we can sell it for 630,000, not bad. Not bad at all. And at this point, if you're keeping tally, we have made over $5 million with this. And I found out something weird here. Some vehicles sell and I get the money in my bank account amount, and the others I get in my cash amount. That's just weird. Originally I thought that the custom vehicles went to the bank account and the others went to the cash amount, but uh, no, no, that's not the case. There is no rhyme or reason, at least, that I can see uh, for any of this. Next up we have the Italy GTB Custom, and here it is. The one thing I'm really disappointed about is that I can't sell the Vetter, the Vetter, one of the newest vehicles added to the game. It looks like a communist truck. It's horrible. And uh, let's see how much money we can sell the GTB Custom for. I'm gonna say about the same as the Peyote Custom, so about 600,000. No, it's gonna be less than that, 430,000. And let's see where the money is going to be added to. Yeah, it's going straight to my bank account. That's weird. And the next vehicle we have is the Italy RSX. Also known as one of the fastest and best vehicles in the entire game. And the reason I'm selling this one is that this is the one that I actually bought. And here it is, the RSX in all of its glory. And it is glorious, I have to say looks so cool it drives great it accelerates great and it's just a, a great all-round vehicle and did I mention it has a hydraulic spoiler I love that I'm not sure which I like more hydraulic spoilers or vehicles being convertible oh, no, who am I kidding I like convertibles better but 
if in the next DLC Rockstar releases something that's convertible and has a hydraulic spoiler, that would be my favorite vehicle in the entire game, probably. But uh, let's see, we, ha we can get 2.2 million for this, which is not bad. So let's go ahead and get it. And I'm assuming it's gonna be added to our cash amount. Yep, there we have it. And the last vehicle we are gonna be selling today is the stupid slam truck. And we can have access to it in about 40 seconds. And here it is, the final vehicle we're gonna be selling today. The slam truck. How much money are we gonna get for it? I don't know. And, um, as I said, it's, uh, I think, the stupidest vehicle from the last DLC, definitely, and probably from the entire game. And the only cool thing about the slam truck is that it can do this. Great. And the moment of truth. And it's under a million bucks. Great. Great. Just... Just great. And uh, there you have it, guys. All in all, we made about 9 million bucks, I think. Definitely more than 8. And uh, future editing bullshit here, and we actually made about 9.5 million bucks. Which is close to 10, so I don't feel bad about the title of the video. But uh, yeah, I'm very excited for the upcoming DLC. I really can't wait to see what Rockstar has in store. And that's actually gonna be the end of this video. Thank you so much to everybody that watched, hopefully you liked the video, if that's the case, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and with all that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Wait, it started raining? When did it start raining? Hey Rockstar, where's my DLC umbrella?